Okay, I'm reshooting this because I missed some things. But if you've been paying attention, you might have noticed how the fire, the candle, has been here through the past three videos. The reason for that is because I'm building a relationship with it again. I used to work with the elements a lot more around a year ago. As I started to realize the elements were also conscious, they had, they were different expressions of the self. Fire to me is a soul, emotion is the water, just in their physical representations. And so I'm gonna start off with water, and water then I'm gonna get to fire because I'm really enjoying fire right now. Water, it's the emotional thing. So if you go into a bath and you keep the water calm, still, what's gonna happen is if you meditate and surrender to the water, purely surrender to the moment, you will embody it. You will emotionally become very, very calm. And everything else within you that isn't that is going to come up to the surface. And it's up to you to wash it away. Just as when you stay in water for a really long time, a lot of junk and dirt is going to be on your skin. And it's up to you to wash it away. So if you need to forgive yourself, if you need to forgive someone else, if you need to stop hating on someone else, if you need to let go of an old memory, an old relationship, being in calm, still water will do that for you. As again, it is the physical manifestation of emotion. If you go to a cold river, dive into that sucker. Oh my God. Oh my God. So fire, physical manifestation of the soul. Now this thing, this thing is really cool. A few days ago, I was meditating by the fire and I noticed what felt like tubes coming out of the top of my head and the bottom by my perineum or my root chakra. And it was like stuff was being taken out of me and going into the fire. It was pulling all these impurities, these things that were blocking me from realizing myself as the soul, as consciousness, as awareness, and just giving it to the fire where it could burn. You know, you got to burn everything in the eye of, in the fire of wisdom, as the old yogis used to say, and uh, the fire in the fire of truth. And the other thing with fire too is it is a kiosk for everyone else's soul. As it is the physical soul represent, we are just different aspects. We're all the soul, but what separates us is our level of awareness. So I remember I used to go take a bath and I used to literally just cycle through my family members' souls and I would work through their subconscious issues that I had with them and that they had with me. And just their overall issues. I used to go visit my exes and work through like, okay, where are you struggling? And all this stuff. And I would implement different things inside them, but also clear out the gunk that was keeping them from being happy. Now, people have a lot of stuff. So don't expect to do this. And the next day, the other person is just vibrant as can be vibrant as the flame. It's not really how it's going to work unless maybe it is. Who knows? In my experience, that hasn't happened. However, there's other ways you can do it. These, these elements are not inanimate. You can communicate with them. With fire, I'm right now I'm just spending time with it. I will eat with it. I will watch anime with it. I was watching anime with it yesterday. And I was asking what favorite characters that it liked. And it was kind of cool. Because characters that I didn't enjoy. Purely because they were stepping and impeding on me. From my past experiences. Fire was enjoying. Purely because they were expressing themselves fully as a soul. They were not... Um, holding back in any way. Even though it was an anime character, Fire still was understanding that. And I know this might just sound like weird mumbo jumbo, but for those of you who have experienced the universe, you understand the weirdness of it, how life truly is weirder than any fiction book, any sci-fi, any anime, any show, any movie out there. This isn't too far-fetched. All you simply have to do is spend time and be aware because these things are a little bit subtle, not gonna lie. You can't be mentally, or sorry, your awareness can't be locked on other things. In the past two videos, I talked about getting your awareness out of the subconscious sexual areas and bringing them back up. If you're thinking about other people, what you wanna do with them in there, you're not gonna be receptive enough to receive what these things are giving you because you need to be aware in the now. So do your to-do list. Forgive the people you need to forgive. Just let go of those old relationships so you can be more present in the now and heal even faster with water and fire. Now air, 
air is insane. Air is very, very insane. Air is, oh, no, you know what? Just fire and water day. Just fire and water day. My name is JC. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed.